there's really not a lot of difference between the plan G and the plan N. Both of these plans will pay for your Part A deductible. Both of these plans also include a Part B deductible. In the year 2020, when this video was made, the Part A deductible was $1,408. Both Plan G and Plan N will pay the Part B deductible for you, so if you're admitted to the hospital, you will not have any out-of-pocket charges. Both of these plans also have the Part B deductible. In the year 2020, the Part B deductible is $100. $98. The Part B deductible applies to any medical care that you receive that is not an overnight stay in the hospital. So things like going to see your doctor, any type of lab work, testing, treatment, emergency room, ambulance, outpatient, home health care, and etc. That's all covered under Part B. If you have a Plan G or a Plan N each calendar year, you are responsible for the first $198 of medical care that is not a stay in the hospital. Now, if you have a Plan G or a Plan N enrolling in a Plan G, it's important to note once your Part B deductible has been paid, you will not have any other out-of-pocket expenses. If you do decide to enroll in a Medicare Supplement Plan in after your Part B deductible has been satisfied, then it's important to understand there are two situations where you may have an additional small out-of-pocket charge. The first is if you go to a routine doctor visit, you will have a cost-sharing payment there or a co-payment somewhere in the range of $15 to $20. And then also if you are treated at a hospital emergency room, you will have possibly a co-payment there up to $50.